Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are here. Onslaught has finally come to the PC and Xbox. By the time you're seeing this video, it is the last day for Cold War. The last day before Vanguard releases, and I'm really excited, but uh, I wanted to give this a little bit of a shot before we finally moved on from this game. I actually genuinely haven't really looked anything into this game mode, so it's going to be a brand new, brand new experience for me jumping in right here. Hopefully this is okay. <laughs> I know a lot of people were really crying out for a survival map type thing for Cold War Zombies, you know, like Noct or the first thing of Firebase C, but, you know, I always thought, like, those maps wouldn't work. I don't think that would have been as successful as, you know, the survival maps have been in the past. In fact, I thought this exact thing was kind of Treyarch's answer for survival maps, these really small if you want to play zombies, just jump on some Onslaught, play a little round here and there, and then, yeah, there you go. That's your zombie fix. So, I don't know. We'll see if that holds true or not. This is a beautiful map, though, I gotta say. This is... I, I, I don't play much multiplayer, but uh, this is a really interesting uh, design for a map. Woohoo! Ooh, we got a perk. Death Perception. Ooh, and uh, Napalm Burst. Hey, I'll take the Magnum. Like I said, today is the last day before Vanguard releases, and I gotta say, I'm really excited. I know there's been like leaks or that one interview with GameSpot or whoever, and it really pointed towards the fact that Vanguard might not get any survival maps or round-based maps, which is gonna be interesting, but I'm, I'm still excited. It's still a new Call of Duty. I'm still excited for kind of the new game mode. To, to see what it's like anyways. I've actually watched the Zombies trailer a couple of times and I really like the aesthetic and I'm really excited for the, uh, uh, what you may call it, field upgrades and the gods that are associated with that. I think that's going to cause uh, a really cool, interesting dynamic between the characters and the gods and the gameplay and all that stuff. I think it's going to be fun. I know the Zombies community isn't as optimistic as they could be about the mode, but I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of things that are concerning about it, but I'm still looking forward to it. Okay, that, that just went off for no reason. Whatever. Ooh, Good night, freak. that's lucky. Mule kick. Uh, okay, all right. Ooh, and a bronze chalice. I think I'm going to pack a punch this guy. I think so. <laughs> and I'll pick that guy up too, for sure. Personally, I'm just trying my best to be as open-minded as I can. Those guys are floating. As open-minded as I can, and just so long as there's like a mode where we can just casually kill zombies and hordes of zombies and then grind out camos, I'll be happy. That being said, the changes to the multiplayer that they advertised actually got me pretty excited about the multiplayer too. I know I, you know, put out that really salty video Shut saying, up. they know the problems with the multiplayer, they're never going to change it, and then they change it, make me look like an idiot. But the fact that they're going to buff the footsteps and also add in a Dead Silence perk, ooh, that's going to be good. And then they're going to buff the Dead Silence field upgrade to include a ghost-like ability. That's just, that's just great. Like, I really love that. And strangely, I'm not really that excited for the campaign, but I mean, oh my goodness. A Call of Duty campaign is always at least decent enough to try out. To be honest, I am having fun in this mode, but it's still really slow paced for some reason. I like, everything kind of stops. Like the rounds are super short. These surges, I guess you can call them, are super short. I don't know if it's like their attempt to try to get the multiplayer people into zombies or whatnot. I mean, I guess it, I mean, I like this game mechanically, like this mode mechanically, I think you know, especially with the chalices and stuff. I know this uh, onslaught didn't start in such a good uh, place, but um, yeah, I can definitely see the longevity of this kind of being that casual zombie killing experience that players love. But of course, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, uh, Treyarch seemingly is trying to get rid of that slow paced uh, beginning early rounds uh, of zombies with a whole bunch of different ways. So having a slow paced zombie mode is kind of boring. But if I'm being completely honest with myself, this would have made the Dark Aether grind a whole lot more enjoyable because this is so much more chill and so much more relaxed. I mean, granted, it's random weapons. Like, I haven't gotten a, uh, what you call it, an Aether tool to rank up my weapons. But I did, I, I have gotten those chalices, which is nice. So, I don't know. I'll have to play this more than just one time to, to form an opinion on it. But, you know, it seems pretty good for now. I'll give you one reason I'm actually pretty excited for this Vanguard Zombies mode. 
One of the biggest criticisms of both Onslaught and Outbreak here in Cold War was the fact that these maps don't feel like zombie maps, they feel like multiplayer maps just with zombies thrown in them, and I definitely feel that. But when I look at the Zombies trailer for Vanguard Zombies, like, yeah, I recognize it's Red Star, yeah, I recognize it's, like, old multiplayer maps and whatever, but it doesn't really feel like multiplayer maps, and I appreciate that they at least went to the effort to try and zombify those maps, you know, and make them a little bit more aesthetic and have a little bit more atmosphere. I think that is going to be something that I personally enjoy, and I think that is a small thing that they can do to both be more efficient with their maps, but also still try to make them as atmospheric and zombified as they can. Now that I think about it, the slow pace of this game, I think there's a different mode that people say is better because of the fact that it doesn't pause every time this thing, like it's a constant thing and it just goes and goes and it's more chaotic and hectic. And to be fair, that's a worry I have with this new Vanguard Zombies mode too, you know? I, I really like the fast-paced intensity of round-based zombies, and I really hope that uh, whatever, you know, outbreak version they have of Vanguard Zombies is as fast-paced and you can kill a bunch of hordes of zombies and stuff too, like within the missions and stuff. I hope that pacing is, is a lot better than Outbreak's is. Also, have we only ever gotten insta-kills here? That's a little weird. Ooh, M16. I'm concerned we don't have Jug yet, or Stamina Up, or Deadshot, or uh, what's the other one I want? Oh no, we do have Gorg Revive. It's starting to get a little intense, I really like that, but weapons are still effective. Then again, I got all legendary weapons, so that's pretty good. My immediate thought is that they should have like a crafting table, armor station, and you know, the default setup on all these maps, but I don't know, I can see the... The beauty in this in the simplicity of this. I really hope I get jug this time. So close. So close. Oh, and I picked up the random perk as I was down. That's lovely. Oh well. I feel like that was a decent amount of XP and not a terrible experience either. Yeah, definitely would have really liked to have that as an option to grind out camos instead. Nope. It was just D Machine and Firebase C for a long, long time. I guess if anyone's curious for my combat record, here it is. I mean, I've got a little sliver of blue there. Uh, 12, 13 days played total, which is a lot less than I thought. I thought I'd put a lot more time into this. I've definitely been I've definitely been playing this a lot more than previous zombie games, so I'm, I'm really happy with this combat record. Let's go to zombies. Yeah, these are the first couple weapons I got gold because if you guys remember, that weapon XP was just so terrible. And these are the three weapons that I got with that terrible weapon XP. The AK, the XM4, the 1911, you know, love this gun. This is one of my favorite guns here. The same, this is my favorite SMG. Ray gun I actually got a lot of kills with because I got to like round 70 on Forsaken and then I crashed or something ridiculous. Really like the C58 as well, I don't know why, but uh, yeah. And then yeah, Cerberus and all these are pretty low kills there if you ask me don't remember playing a lot with this the, uh, the mac 10 needs to be higher i don't know where it's at but it needs to be higher than whatever it is but i guess the only thing left to do is to wait out the clock for vanguard zombies every year i get excited for the new call of duty well be sure to subscribe for the best vanguard zombies content on youtube and as always stay beautiful